What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. I've been riding around today because it is just so nice out here. Oh look, a biker. But it's getting warm, bro. It's getting warm. Thank God. Because I hate the cold, bro. I actually hate the cold. I've been sick. Yo, does that say the pretty kitty? Yeah. I ain't asking no questions, bro. I'm not asking no questions. I don't even want to know, bro. The pretty kitty. Yo. That is it. Yo. That is a wild name for a business, bro. <laughs> yeah. I just... That's, like, bold, bro. That's really bold. Anyways. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> What of the day for today is nothing that is ever worth it will ever come easy. And on the contrast, this bike is so loud, bro. contrast if it's easy to obtain it's probably not worth having all of your goals and your dreams and your aspirations are achievable you're just gonna get tested along the way and the reason most people never achieve what they actually seek out, seek out to achieve is because they don't want it bad enough they aren't willing to get put through all of the various tests that are required in order to obtain that thing. It's like, whatever you want, you can have. You've just gotta be willing to eat shit for a little while. Like, I promise you, you can literally have anything that you want, bro. Anything, like literally anything, bro. You just gotta be willing to to handle the tests that life is gonna throw at you. And the better that you can pass those tests, those difficult tests, the better the, the reward will be, bro. It's just that simple. That's literally it, bro. So yeah, when shit is hard, when shit is difficult, just remember, life is testing you and seeing if you'll break. And if you never do, bro, you get what you want, like dead ass, bro. All you gotta do is never quit because if you never quit, it'll happen. That's just how it goes, bro. But that is quote of the day for today. We're gonna go right down here and let's get passionate on the R6, bro. Dude, I love being passionate, bro. I love passionate, passionate, passionate. Never mind, bro. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind. I've also been get practicing my downshifts and they have been getting crispy, bro. Like, actually crispy, bro. Let me open my visor and get some air. Ah, I can't see shit, bro. I just blinded myself with the wind. Now it feels nice, bro. <laughs> bro, I just love everyone at that stoplight, like, in a different zip code, bro. Goddamn. My bad, gang. There's a lot of bikes out today. It is really nice out today. It's like, it's sunny and like 75 bro it's like really nice i'm really curious how it will feel like in the summertime when it's like 100 plus i already know it's gonna be like hot but like how hot bro and will it be miserable probably but i'm still on a motorcycle so like i don't care bro i really don't care if i get to ride i'm happy bro that's it, bro. Oh, dude, that's another thing. I used to watch this, like, guru guy. 
on YouTube. And there was like literally one video that he uploaded. And it said, you are not supposed to be happy. That was the title of the video. I was like, bro, what the fuck are you supposed to do with your life then, bro? What's the point of living life if you're not happy? You could have infinite money. I don't care if you have infinite money. If you aren't happy and your life isn't worth living, what the fuck is the point of, of being alive, bro? That was also another thing I saw with like why male suicide rates are so high or just suicide in general. And it's that people just genuinely, like they just don't have a, a reason worth living life. Like they have stable jobs, they have stable income. It's not like they're poor or like struggling or anything. They just, they don't have a reason to live life. And so they just off themselves, bro. So many people, I feel like they just like are lonely, bro. And so that video I saw, like, low-key pissed me off. I was like, bro, this guy is telling a bunch of people they don't need to be happy. Like, who the fuck are you to tell people that they don't need it, how they should, should and shouldn't live their lives, first of all? And second of all, how the fuck are you going to tell people they shouldn't be happy? Like, bro, what? That's the main goal of life, no? Besides, like, like reproducing, it's like having a happy life the fuck is the point of living life if you're just gonna be like like sad all the time like bro what goal of your life should be to happy bro should be to be happy i genuinely that's what i genuinely think and that's what i believe and that's what i try for every day that's why i got one of these things bro these things make me so happy but like bro what is i genuinely want to know like what is the point to life if you're not happy what is the point of life literally if i was unhappy i would not want to be alive like dead ass bro Bro, I'm so glad that I got actual like quality levers. Cause these things feel so nice. After I got used to them, I'm very glad I got new levers. And I can't my chain got here yesterday, bro. I can't wait to put my new chain on. I didn't change any specs. I just have the factory. I'm just gonna run the factory specs still, cause I mean honestly. I understand like trying to get faster acceleration or faster top speed, but like bro, I'm not using this bike to like do a top speed runs, bro. I don't need to change it from factory spec. Like having it at factory spec is just fine, bro. There's some things I think that you should leave factory and I think the chain, chain, all the chain specs, sprocket, everything should be just left as factory unless you're like tracking the bike. But even then, these are literally made to go on the track, so like chaining the factory specs is, it doesn't really make sense. Like they, they, they literally engineered them to go on the track, so what's the point of like trying to fuck with it? And like, you thinking that you know more than the factory is kind of crazy, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. They put millions of dollars into R&D. They pull over a school bus? Oh, it's an accident. Hit, uh, the school bus hit someone, bro. That's the first time I've ever seen a school bus being an accident. What the heck? And now we got the news station up out here, bro. getting on my visor it's actually like warm outside so the bugs are out in full force bro should probably get gas probably need some pretty soon 
I've been riding for like two hours, dude. LeBron Avenue. Oh, hell no. LeBaron? Nah, LeBron Avenue. I might get the bougie gas from the shell, bro. It's gonna be like five dollars a gallon. It'll probably be like ten bucks though. I always feel like this gas tank is way smaller than it actually is. Like I probably still have like two gallons of gas left, but Drizzle up, boy. Come on, bro. God damn. Oh, are you fucking serious? What the fuck? I gotta wipe this shit off, bro. Shoot, fucking. They're like sharded everywhere, bro. Two gallons. I was close. I think I said two and a half. I don't remember. Oh, now I gotta go fucking get some towels for this motherfucker. Because that shit squirted everywhere. BRB. God damn, though, that shit went literally everywhere. the hell oh hopefully that it doesn't like fucking destroy the gas tank paint if it does i guess i'm gonna have to finally get the carbon fiber tank extender bro dude that shit literally squirted everywhere it got on my phone it got on the triple tree bro it got everywhere i think those are called triple trees okay hopefully it doesn't fuck with the paint too bad that was fucking cringe as hell shit squirted literally everywhere bro all right i'm gonna dip this in like the fucking shit in here Fucking cringe. All these gas stations have fucking paper towels that I can wipe this shit off with. Okay. I think it should be fine. I don't think it will fuck up the paint. If I left it on there, it probably would, but it's fine. Nice, bro. I'm just like trolling myself right now. Okay. Oh. Get this down here, too. Yeah, I want to get, so this exhaust already has some carbon fiber on it, but I want to get tire hugger, carbon fiber, tank extender, airbox cover, and then just a couple other like miscellaneous carson fiber parts, like the front tire hugger maybe, but then again, I don't know, because I feel like carbon fiber is like so overused to be honest, I don't know, I'll have to see.
probably gonna end the video here. I feel like the GoPro is gonna die soon and I don't wanna lose this footage. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.